Hey guys, Silly here and welcome to a new season of my Let's Play of Clash of Clans because we have moved to Town Hall level 5 and I'm really excited because we have some new features. This is actually going to be a base build. So, what do we have new? We already built the Wizard Tower, which is of course a very powerful unit, especially against, um, against infantry. We also have a new Archer Tower and new Cannon. Um, we got two new mines and collectors, of course some new walls, a new army camp and also we do have, is it here, the spell factory which is quite um, quite useful but also a bit expensive right now. So this is actually going to be a base build so um, let's see how far we can go. Of course we're going to move everything to the outside. Uh, I think I'm still going to keep um, most of it like it is, or we're going to keep the same principle of defenses centralized around um, the clan castle, the mortar and the two storages but I also um, I want to fit my uh, my wizard tower in there because it's very important and very uh, you know very good and uh, also of course we can claim some rewards here we upgraded to level 5 that is going to be 10 gems then the next one is going to be achieve total of 750 trophies it's going to be 10 gems and the last one is going to be uh, upgrade claim castle to level 2 10 gems so that means we only need 17 more gems to um, to get the third build hit getting closer and closer so what shall we do I think that I want the wizard tower to cover um, uh, to cover most of the things, especially the gold storage. So I was thinking moving this cannon away, and um, let's get rid of those walls there because we don't need them. Um, we're going to put them. Let's just put them over there. Um, I was thinking remove these walls uh, put the wizard tower maybe over here because then it does cover um, it, it covers ex especially the um, the gold storage here maybe we can switch the wizard tower and the clan castle around so it does cover both of the storages and the clan castle does have a very big reach anyway so um, I think we can also do it this way let's try it um, let's put the walls back in and uh, then let's put some new defense in there as well. So, how are we going to do this? Um, let's see, let's see. We have this cannon, of course, which we can move over here. Then we have this archer tower, which we can move over there, or is that a bit too close? I think then we would change this cannon with this archer tower. Mm, yeah that is better and then I was thinking doing the other cannon right there so we have some cover for the clan castle and um, but I don't know if if this is really what I want because the clan castle troops can be uh, brought out quite easily but then again this is just a concept so things might change um, I think for now I am pretty happy with this so I'm going to put in some walls of course most of them are uh, the new walls are all low level but we do have enough of them um, maybe we can we can do something with the walls was a hair on my iPad um, okay okay put this section over there surround this cannon with the walls of course and then this section over there surround this cannon with walls as well I don't think we can we can put something in that space which is which is a little bit of a pity but we still have um, five walls left so what shall we do mm, this is what should we do we can move the clan castle back and put another layer of walls between it um, I think that would be a good one so it is surrounded by walls let's do that and put it that way okay that looks better and um, we can we can double wall it here just because we have those walls or no no not that of course we have to put it a little bit that way because um, in this way we will um, we will. If the wall breakers hit here, they would not hit these walls because of the uh, the splash damage. Of course. Okay, this looks actually pretty good. We have a um, we have a full two layer um, of of, the, of of walls between uh, the gold storage, the wizard tower, the ex 
the elixir storage and the mortar although um, we do have one space here this wool is quite critical but I do not think that that will be targeted quite a lot so we'll see about that how it's going to work out so let's put the barracks in we'll put them all over here then we'll put the spell factory over there um, I want them to attack I think most from this side so that's where I'll put my collectors or I'll put this gold storage over there mm, this elixir storage because it, it, it's not really important for them because they don't even have much in it but I still um, want them around my base um, the gold mines going to go over here I have one more there it is let's put it over here and of course the uh, the electric collectors on the other side. I might actually switch them around to mix them a little bit. So if someone is looking only for gold, they will uh, they will have to attack from two sides. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Let's uh, switch these around. I think that is a very good idea. And then switch this round and round with that one. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Then we still have these army cams which will cover for from spawn area and they actually have quite a bit of health so that's good and then the town hall we will put over there because we want it to be out of range of the wizard towers or of the the air defense tower so that people will just target the town hall and then leave so we have a free shield I think that's what it's going to look like I'm, I'm quite happy about that first let's request some troops because we are low on troops and um yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that. So that's actually going to be the entire video. Do you think I should change this? If so, let me know. Uh, subscribe to me if you have not already. Thanks Dina and thanks Lucas for the level 5 arches, which is great at this town hall level. But be sure to drop a like, subscribe to me if you have not already, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.